Hello, everybody. You're on the mic. And today, I'm going to talk about the little dust-up that happened, that, the verbal dust-up that's been happening between Batman writer Tom King and um, artist Jay Lee, as some of you may have heard on... Um, on yellow flashes um yellow flashes videos apparently um so what basically happened was jay lee was offered a chance to do a variant cover for ethan van skyver's um cyber frog and in doing so this apparently incurred the wrath of tom king as he decided to run to his bosses at DC. Hey, let let like he's he he's doing work for Comics Gate. He, that evil evil organization of hate hate people. You know, um, didn't go to the didn't go to the man at all. Just went straight to the bosses and just totally disparaged the guy. You know, um, even though Comics Gate is not a hate group. You know, they're just you know they're just more for the consumers. So, eventually, it w he discovered that, no, he's not a part of hate group. He just basically took the job. He was appreciative for taking the job. Now, according to Tom King, he goes, yeah, I talked to him. He's not even on Twitter. He's not a part of Comics Gate. You know, um, we're cool. But Jay Lee replied back, of course, no, we're not cool. Because... On the day, you know, apparently on the day all this was happening, Jay Lee was laying to rest a beloved pet. He and his, I don't know if it's his wife, girlfriend, partner, what, what have you, but he and his significant other were laying to rest a beloved pet. And rather than having the opportunity to um, to be able to you know, remember the good times of their pet and all that. They were, you know, he was inundated with call, with calls from from Exegism DC. Hey, is this true? Are you part of Comics Gate? Are you part of this? Are you part of this hate group? Are you part of this, you know, which he wasn't. He's just an artist just going about his business. You know, um, which, again, is why cancel culture is stupid, you know. We should all be able to agree to disagree. Okay? And, of course, even though he supposedly, uh, even though Tom King supposedly apologized for, for all this, he still has not taken down the tweet that, that caused all this, because this all started with a tweet. You know, a tweet about him. Oh, this is the real Rorschach. Because I guess um, Jay Lee did a variant Rorschach cover as well. Which supposedly Tom King was a part of. You know, if you have an issue with somebody like that. You should, ha you should, be, you should be brave enough and man enough. In the case of Tom King. To go to him and say. Hey, I have an issue with you over this. And hash it out with him. Not run to the your boss and say, Hey, he's part of the hate group. He's part of the hate group. He's part of Comics Gate. You know, when there's no, when there was no evidence of that. Tom King is a king, all right? A king of fools. And then, and then after the fact, after he supposedly apologized, You know, um, you know, tr um, one of the things, you know, one of the things I was, you know, one of the things that, as you know, I guess after he apologized, you know, and when he, you know, when he was trying to, let's say, make peace, quote unquote, with. Jay Lee, he he'd put he apparently Tom King would apparently put pictures up on his um, on his Twitter, 
you know, showing him, hey, see, I love animals. Look, look, I'm out walking my dog. Yeah, I'm out walking my dogs here. Yeah, I love animals. I, you know, Jay Lee's cool. This is, he's, you know, he's trying to endear himself to people over this major faux pas. And, I, you know, I know a lot of people are not buying it. I don't think Jay Lee is buying it from what I've heard. I know Yellow Flash is not buying it because he's been all over this guy's rear end with with comment with comments and stuff like that. You know, Tom King, you're you're you are a king, all right. You're a king of fools. You know, you are most certainly a king of fools. If if you have an issue with somebody, you should man up and just go and deal you know deal with them directly, not this you know cowardly cowardly garbage of oh I'm gonna run to the bosses and, and tell on him. <laughs> Jay Lee, I let me just say this to you, man. I'm sorry you have to put up with this garbage and you know especially with what you're dealing with right now with you know having to bear, bury you know bury your pet. You know, obviously you cared for your parent very much and did not want to have to deal with all this stupid garbage. But, you know, the whole thing with SJWs and cancel culture, they're all a bunch of idiots. Somebody should probably take them all to the woodshed. Every last single one of them. So with that, that's all I can really say about this, about this particular topic. So let's let's look to some more happier. Time. Let's look to the past. So with today being, of course, July 29th, 2020, let's look to the past. Let's look to yesterday to see what we can find on this day in Nietzsche history. Of course, first off, what I'd like to do is I'd like to wish a happy um, 54th birthday to voice actor Richard Horvitz. Uh, Richard Horvitz, of course, known for his work on The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy as the voice of Billy, as well as um, voicing Concho May in Zatch Bell. So I'd like to, as I said, I'd like to wish a happy 54th birthday to Richard Horvitz. I hope you have a good day today, my friend. Um, also, um, as I as we move forward here, on this date in 1998, um, 22 years ago today, um. Marvel, let's see, Marvel Comics released on the newsstands the 20th issue of X-Men Unlimited featuring Generation X in the story Where the Wild Things Were. So on this date 22 years ago today, X-Men Unlimited number 20 was released on the newsstands by Marvel um, featuring Generation X in the story Where the, Where the Wild Things Were. Also, on this date in 2005, which was 15 years ago, they... Okay, on this date, 15 years ago, uh, in 2005, um, the... Let's see. The last of the DVDs... Um, of the OVA series for Iria no Sora UFO, UFO no Natsu was released on this date in 2005. On this date in 2005, the last uh, last episode of the OVA's OVA adaptation of the light novel Iri, Iria um, no Sora UFO no Natsu was released on this date in 2005. And also, on this date in 2015, 
for a September 6th, um, for an episode taped for the September 6th, um, for, for, okay. A match that was taped for the September 6th airing of TNA Impact. Um, Gail Kim would outlast champion Brooke, Awesome Kong, and, and Laid Tapa um, to capture the TNA Women's Knockout Championship. On an episode on at the July 29th tapings of the um, of TNA Impact to be aired on September 6th, Gail Kim would outlast champion Brooke, um, as well as Awesome Kong and Lay Tapa in a four way match to win the TNA Knockouts Championship. So, with all that being said, now. If you guys would like to contact me directly, if you you know if you guys would like to contact me directly, you can you can my Discord link is in the links below. Go check out the Discord if you like, and direct message me on Discord, and I will usually get back to you as soon as you as soon as I can. Um, also. Um, Also, um, I'm still promoting a bunch of different dub companies. There's a lot of work out there you guys can check out. Suggest you look into it and check those works out. Also, still promoting Vixco Fund Me as well as um, still promoting Vixco Fund Me as well as Tug and Lug's um, latest comic project. As always, guys, never feel like you have to donate. If it's on your heart to do so and you feel and you have the means to, please consider donating. If you have already donated, please consider donating again. And if you can't donate, you can still help out the cause by sharing the link. If you're sharing the sharing is caring, you never know. Maybe somebody in your circle friend may want to help. And if you like this content, I please ask that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I will usually comment, you know, as you know, I always I always enjoy the conversations with you guys as long as it's civil and respectful. And don't forget this Friday is my latest VA premiere, um uh Voices Big and Small, in which I'll be highlighting the career of New York based voice actor, um, J. David Brimmer, aka Michael Austin Bailey, best known for his work as Odeon Ishtar, providing the English voice for Odeon Ishtar in um in um, the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise. Um, I hope to see you there. Also, beginning next week, I'll be going live five nights a week. This will be the last week I'll be doing these these regular videos. But uh, as of Monday, August 3rd, look forward to the premiere of the mic, of mic stand, in which that I'll be live streaming five nights a week. Um... And with all that being said, until until tomorrow, bye.